Edifying Moments, brought to you by Life Construction Church. Rhonda, would you open us up in prayer, please? Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory. We thank you for today, Lord God. This is the day that you've made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Lord God, we thank you for our country. We thank you for our nation right now, Lord God. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus throughout our whole nation. And we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for every family that has been affected from the coronavirus. We thank you, Lord God, that they, will, they can walk in peace during this time, that they can uh, walk in the love of God during this time. And we speak healing on those families that have been affected in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for the peace of God shall surround them like a shield in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you even today as we talk today, Lord God. We thank you for that you will give us eyes to see ears to hear, and a heart to understand. In Jesus' majestic name, amen. Amen. Psalms 139, verse 14, reads like this. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul know it right well. Uh, the scripture said, I was fearfully and wonderfully made. God took his time, and he placed everything on the inside of me, to live victoriously on this earth right now, but I just have to use the wisdom that he is constantly conferring to me. Uh, so it's very important that I understand that with this body, that's a part of it, he fearfully and wonderfully made this body. So I, I need to be grateful. And in order to be grateful, I need to take care of what he gave me. I need to make certain that I exercise this body, I put the proper nutrition in, nutrients in this body, because Hey, this is the only one that I had. So that's very important. If you remember the last time we were together, we talked about in Genesis how Esau sold his birthright for a bowl of pottage. So it's very important that we understand that health is our birthright. Healing, fantastic. Thank God for it. But health is God's best for us. You want to add anything? Amen. Um, last week, we also talked about um, the books that Apostle had uh, encouraged us all to uh, purchase. One of them is God's Way to Ultimate Health, and the other one is Why Do Christians Get Sick? The information, these resources are wonderful, but however, these books are great. They, they are giving us uh, menus in and uh, eating habits, teaching us great eating habits, uh, what to eat and what not to eat, what's good for our bodies and what's not good for our bodies, uh, teaching us that um, things that we thought was good for our bodies, um, like um, 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 dairy products, dairy, um, we thought that was something good to eat, and we find out that dairy is full of things that, that our bodies don't need. So. Um, I know uh, Apostle talked about this uh, when we first got connected, and he's been sharing for several years that we needed to move to a plant-based diet. Well, Pastor and I, we, um, we moved to a plant-based diet uh, a couple of years ago, but Pastor himself, um, he was already a vegetarian. He was a vegetarian for years, but he had a peculiar diet. Although he, he wasn't your normal vegetarian. Uh, he ate a lot of dairy, but one of the things was everybody thought because he was a vegetarian, he was eating um, salads, you know, green leafy vegetables. No, he was not eating green leafy vegetables. You know, so we, we learned, how, one of the things that I had to do for him is I had to learn how to juice. And I said, well, how can I get him to eat these green leafy vegetables. And one of the things that we did, we, we started juicing. We juiced kale, spinach, apple, celery, ginger, and a cucumber. Now, if, if I put all that on a plate, 
It is no way he's gonna eat that, no way. But when I put it in the juicer, added that apple to sweeten it up a little bit, he'll drink it right on up. Uh, carrot juice, drinking fresh carrot juice is wonderful. Um, adding all these nutrition to your nutrition to your body is wonderful. And um, sometimes now I he used to juice for me every morning before I would leave out to go to work. I juice for him for a period of time, and then he started juicing for me. Um, but I went on this time where I juice for oh ten days at a time. I mean nothing but juice, and I'm telling you, I felt wonderful. Um, I, I uh, restrained, refrained from eating uh, coffee, from drinking coffee, I'm sorry, from drinking coffee. And um, you know, when you stop drinking caffeine, you immediately start receiving headaches and all these different types of things. And, I, and all of that left. I didn't have to worry about the withdrawals from caffeine. Um, Drinking and, and eating properly will cause you not to have the, the side effects from all the things that we were doing. The side effects from eating uh, pork and beef. Uh, I learned a long time ago, I stopped eating beef a long time ago because my body just didn't digest beef. I thought I could handle it. I love meatballs and spaghetti. That is my favorite meal. I love it. But meatballs and spaghetti don't like me. I love hamburgers, but they don't like me. So I had to make a decision. Am I going to eat it for the taste because I really, really love it? Or am I going to eat things for my body that's going to cause my body to function well? And I learned a long time ago that red meat does not function in my body well. So Philippians 4.13 says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, we think that we cannot do this plant-based diet. We think, I, do, I just can't do it. I gotta have me some meat. But we have to realize that we're doing what's best for us. And yes, you are empowered. God has graced you to eat properly. He set that diet up for us. He, God's way of eating is, is what we need to do. So he set that plan up for us. So therefore, he's already empowered us to do it. He's graced us to do it. So you are empowered to do it. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Some of the things as far as walking, as far as exercising, I'm encouraging you, even if you, right now, yes, we have to stay inside, but you can get outside in your own yard and just walk around the house. Do what you can to move your body. Get your body active, walking and doing the things that God wants you to do for you. Amen? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Life Construction Church, building the kingdom of God, one, one life, life at a time. time.